Hello and welcome back, my little friends, episode 2 of the wonderful Adran. It's not an empire, really, but it's one nation under God, so to speak. Um, we're also losing devotion, which I kind of don't like. Hmm. Hmm. We get from prestige, I think. No. It's very bad. Anyway, it's fine. Gives a lot of money. We still need to call this. Just one more month. I actually do speed five. Uh, do the pause game. Um, seriously? Oh, I had a look at the wrong number there. <clears throat> actually, make a bit of money. The corruption is bad because of our overextension, obviously. And now we can call this of extension, obviously. Now, what makes more expensive? I can't remember. Unrest, something about that, like, uh, along that lines. <clears throat> Nobody rising up yet. It's fine. This will tick down under zero pretty quick. Then we need the army um, improve with Ethiopia. Uh, yes, recall that, guys. <clears throat> you could ally Ethiopia. Uh, they are not in a position where they are strong yet. Um, next question would be, we have a wonderful button for that. No, not this one. Uh, allies, no, I want... Um, there's a diplomatic button somewhere. Ah, here we go, I'm an idiot. <coughs> Offer alliances to three guys. We could um, ally Yemen, Aden, or Ethiopia. Hmm. I don't think I want that. Um, also, an estate. The Amirs and the Ulema want stuff. The coastal province is here. I have a new mute button. I hope it works perfectly. Uh, the coastal province is here. Will be pretty much uh, for my uh, other guys. Not the ones, the two guys, but um, the merchant guilds here. A dimmy we don't have, that's um, basically Christians and all others. Nope. So I give the Amirs and stuff like stuff like this here, mountains, we can easily defend. Or actually this one would be too awesome, but I kind of want them on the coast here. To close this off. The problem is they can just wander through here. Give these two to the Amirs. We cannot give this yet because it's not caught. <coughs> Because it gives manpower coverage speed, okay, blah, blah. And also local defensiveness and manpower. And I go for the defensiveness in this case. Because it's frigging Highlands. If I have a fort here at some point, it would be awesome. And the other guys uh, can go like in here. Let's actually check on what the cost is. Here it's plus 20% for steps and plus 15 per I read, which is pretty bad. Uh, Savannah is a bit cheaper to improve. I want to make my capital somewhere here. This is also... Uh, what is this? Savannah again, but in the wrong trade node. I want it here, basically. And not here, because this is pretty bad as well. This is um, coastline, 25%. So I want my capital to be here, actually. And this is a different trade not entirely, so that's all crap. So here will be my capital at some point. Not yet. I can also just move my trading port there if I wanted to. Uh, I will consider that at a later date as well. Um, this is all steps, which is pretty, pretty bad. Cost is the worst. The land we have here, nothing is irrigated. This is even desert. We have nothing that is like farmlands, like um, these guys have up here. Farmlands, it's pretty cheap to improve. Also, this is two rivers here. It makes sense uh, with our hydraulic empire stuff to just have a dam here or anything, right? Make a lot of sense. You had a lot of rivers flowing together in these provinces. To irrigate stuff, I would like an option to actually turn this into um, irrigated stuff, but nah, I cannot do that. 
Let all prove it yet. We are in the age of discoveries. Who cares? Large cities. We don't have one yet. Present also contains all nothing of this would happen. A humiliate a rival could happen. <coughs> Control centers of trade. I don't think so. The centers of trade are. In Kilva territory. And this is not our enemy yet. I want to uh, play it safe. Ash Adal is crushing our next rival. This is very interesting. And honestly dangerous. So this is again, uh, let's check again, Mogadishu is these three. <coughs> this is 10 development, which is kind of nice, more than our capital has. This is pretty great, but will not be improved further, I think. At least not in the foreseeable future. At least the manpower is going up. And the next goal is to reach the tech level, we can actually get some ideas. Yeah, Wazangali is dead. We can arrival two more guys. It's Malindi. <coughs> Let's rival Malindi. Has nothing to speak of, and we will not rival Kilva. Problem is, Kilva might rival us. And that's bad. That means we need a new friend. The Mamluks are too far away. Mutapa, unbelievers. I would like to make Adal our friend. We can work on that. That he unravels us. I don't think it will happen, but we can always try. Nothing more. Okay, uh, nothing more important to do with these guys anyway. We have to wait um, six more years to annex these. I could keep them around because I have a bit of troops. Yeah, devastation, there was siege and everything. Uh, wait. Lose diplomatic power or prestige? Uh, actually, lose prestige. These guys are fabricating stuff. Uh, let's fabricate on these guys as well. Get the last one here, it's part of. <coughs> Horn of Africa. So this would be fitting. They have a few of these as well, like all of these, but I have some... Oh, this is all the Horn of Africa. Is this No, this is Somaliland. This is Somaliland, Magitin. I don't actually want that. If I would kind of get this stuff here, then I would have to get some of this stuff as well, and I don't see that happening. <coughs> Adal. Adal, Adal, Adal. They have 7,000 men. Cute, but I have a bit of manpower. A force limit is not great. I have to actually reinforce our dudes at some point. I'm at the moment at F1 for no maintenance because we need the money. <coughs> actually, repay the loans. Let me see what we can do. Um, gain skill one, unrest minus two theologian. It's actually cheaper. Yes, I will actually get this guy because this is worth it. It's a point. This guy will pay just half a ducat for Muhammad Khalid. Come here. Problem is, of course, the money. Um, speaking of which, project train on the Gulf of Aden, please. You can also check um, the money we make from trade, which is basically not. We got a lot of core provinces. A bit more money from trading, and we can make a state. This is this state. I don't want that. We can make another state. No, we can only make this state. I want to make this state, though. It's not caught yet, is it? Huh? This is a state. Okay. 
I don't want to make this state. It costs actually more than I get from it. And this is a province that is... Whoops. Just... Why? Why do I even have this? And Ulema is still pissed. Uh, we could get Ulema like something here in the desert or whatever. Yeah, have it. Are you happy now? Yes, you're pretty happy now. That's good. Um, deny the unity of being or support the unity of being. Ibn Arabi was an Arusian scholar and mystic regarding my many Sufis as the foremost spiritual master. Sufis are the guys who are dancing in circles, like um, who are trying to reach God through um, what is called meditation and stuff like that. This pantheistic philosopher, ah, what? Of the unity of being, that's no, 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 that's cannot be. You're not pantheist. Where is it? Here. Deny. Don't do that. Uh, you can get a bit of the corruption, which is at zero, it's currently at 0 0.03. Not even worth doing. But you at least um, are on top of the money problem here. Shoot it out. It's basically a few months. Yeah, here we go. Uh, my Imam made the rebellion to kill one Beja. Who cares? Who cl wait, what clowns at war here? Some border conflicts here, who cares? I really don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Adal. On the other hand, they have their shit stuff, except like, like, like the capital. It's not even worth conquering, that's crap. But it's really cheap to conquer, on the other hand. If the need arises. Let's click this away, because it annoys me. Provincial unrest, which actually... Uh, 30%. This is caught. They don't give a damn anymore. This is already ticking down, which is part of awesome. And this is basically all one big province, right? One territory. State, whatever you want to call it. So we could do some edict. Monthly autonomy change. This was exactly the one I was looking for. Um, trade power, obviously kind of useful um, just to get trade from this stuff, but I want the autonomy stuff. Centralization. Yeah, 200% state maintenance, who cares? We spend a bit of money, but we get the money back sooner, the sooner the autonomy ticks down, etc. So I want the autonomy to tick down pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. And we have a look at this. And it's basically 30% more per month. And if we are at war, it doesn't tick down at all, except we have this edict. So there's that. Uh, next up, though, still the research stuff. Um, we couldn't get marketplaces, which is really awesome for our trade stuff. But I really want the idea, and I'm still debating myself if I should go trade first or economic first. I think I get trade first and then economic, and let's rush to them. These are this is kind of okay. This is nah. I mean, it's 10% of all ship cost. Missionary is not important at all. And then we get these and hopefully the Hydraulic Empire, which would be huge. Institution spread is kind of nice. And then on the top of we get a morale of armies, which can be useful. I don't know. I want to go tall. So there's that. And I have to get my first two ideas for that. The Renaissance. This changed everything indeed. Yes, we need to um, develop stuff soon. But... An heir needed. He's dead. Uma is dead. We need some devotion. Amir lose stuff. But we get the Uluma, uh, Ulema. Where do I get this guy? Wait a second. I want to name him. Treason. What? Recruitment is out, is out of necessity. One, two, three. Recruitment is... Out of necessity, something that has to be a somewhat decentralized affair. Now, let's just take guys from the capital. No, this doesn't work. Often it will be entrusted to nobles in the capital, and they are responsible to turn up a certain number of men of various provinces under our control. This is a system that, to some extent, relies on trust. As the general government is not involved in the details, countryside mustering, etc. Yes, I get the point.
Northern Swahili coast, I give a fuck. Don't want unrest. Um, no, about a new heir. Sahel, Arlikio, Mohammed, of course, Mohammed. Mm. There's a lot of Umas in there. Here we go. It's now a lawgiver. I like the old guy. Oh, it's actually kind of really useful. <coughs> I cannot um, abdicate, which is kind of bad. Of course, the monster autonomy change is kind of nice right now. Would be worth more if I just accurately conquered more shit, but hey. So Lodia is now at war with um, Bela as well. Um, you did a bad move at some point, I think. You're just going to be eaten. I kind of want um, Ethiopia here as a buffer state because they can hold their ground against the Mamluks, but not against the Ottomans I heard about. There were rumors, you know. My mom! Okay. My mom! Okay. I just have basically everything on. No, um, I do differently. If I start open or download it again or whatever, I turn everything on and I make a playthrough or two basically. One in the old world, one in the new because it's important. Um, and then slowly turn off everything I really don't need. And these two messages uh, just didn't even pause the game. It's just, it's not important. Because you, uh, and if it's you are in the IHRE, it's a whole different matter as well. Or who is being turned into a free city and stuff like that. Why are we losing money? Uh, hmm. Corruption is gone though. I do have overextension. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, not for long. Okay. Hallo <laughs> Akbar. It's all ours. There, there was a roleplay part, and I want to annex him in four years. Spend some of this point, but this is the time I want to actually focus on this. On the other hand, I don't want to cut off from the military stuff. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll go trade for just for the um, money. To actually get advisors, that would be really useful. And I really, really, really want to uh, actually move the capital here. <coughs> ah, here. It's called by an estate. Your state doesn't interest me. There you have it. Yeah, let's move the capital. First off, our trade income is half a ducat plus a bit. And we have four and a half ducats. Let's see what changes. The trade port will move with them. Do that. So we actually collecting trade here now with our capital and the other guys. He is pushing hopefully a lot of money downwards and we get some from here. Uh, not yet really, but later on. This will be our main trade node. I want to conquer a bit of stuff or get um, some states that help us there, some um, vessels that is. And ourselves be really tall. That's at least the plan. So what that means, first off, our money went out. Oh, it's actually the month tick. Riches of the Ulema, okay, um, money, they lose... Ugh, they want more stuff. Make them actually happy, actually get influence, I don't like that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they are unhappy, uh, give them another state here. So they are at least satisfied with that. 
And let's end the month. Oh, it actually hurt us a lot. Didn't see that coming. Actually uh, lost a lot of money because our main trade node here, we had a lot of stuff in. We had more trade power here because we uh, obviously... This is all ours and it helped us to trade. Uh, Olundi here is allied with... Adal and Vazangali. Oh. Uh, let's actually get them back from our Vazangali and fabricate claims on that. Can we make him... Ah, we need better friends. Uh, we cannot tell about her heretics. It was actually bad for the money. Yeah, I should have foreseen that. Mistakes been made. <laughs> Don't need that at all. We go for legalism. <sighs> and then... Can we take Adal? Let's check the ledger. We could. If Ethiopia helps, that would be awesome. Does Ethiopia have... Yes, they have. Okay, excellent. Um, build Spy Network, please. Yeah, the problem is um, very much that they have all the trade nodes here. I have to go against Kilva, I think. To be annoying. I, I like these guys. Good people, good people. I have also one plus merchant, which is annoying. They can tag up to get a trade range and a marketplace. And absolutely do that. Gives us a slight edge in trading as well. Ahead of time bonus. We are tag 4 and they are tag 3, so we get a slight edge for that. That helps a lit. Yeah, see a, a lit, yes, a lot. I'm considering building lots of boats. Problem is I have no money to actually build them. Maybe, just maybe we should take our boats and trade in Gulf of Aden. Is this one? The Zanzibar. What? No, not privateer. A oh, Zanzibar, here we are. I'm an idiot. It's the first one. Okay, great. It helps. Let's actually build some boats. It's a year, though. I want trade ideas, like, actually, yesterday. Babel Uprising, what? Oh, the party guys. <laughs> we are the party guys. Um, Problem being, if I do that... Yeah, let's just get him rid of them. Um, we are in full. Yes, we could go corruption route out. I don't need. We could, though. Very interesting in this regard. Not that. I mean, uh, the base currency. We get two corruption. Right? And then get rid of the corruption. And then get legalism back. <laughs> and no corruption. Nice. <laughs> I print money. Well, it's a 
bit of ducats here and there, and um, they're actually on zero, and they tick down. And I won't give a fuck anymore. Just a few months, uh, so we reinforce our dudes as well, which is useful. And that is enough. Um, we get them back to here. <clears throat> Save some money. Provincial unrest, yeah, they have like one, who cares. I ignore the mans, um, oh, legalism. Against loyalty is actually nice. Yeah, I agree to the demands, F fuck the prestige, is actually bad. Uh, we can get, uh, give them one more state thing. And be on green, which means more taxes and yearly devotion. And this is pretty, 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 pretty handy for this devotion loss. So we actually gain um, devotion now, which is useful. Look at this. Inquisitor, we don't need. Uh, the Amirs, though. It's not, uh, it's just a territorial core. So uh, if the Amirs maybe here. Ah, uh, doesn't help enough. Maybe get the Amirs here as well, then it's actually dangerous soon. Oh god. Ah, uh, but 20% manpower bonus is kind of... Whack. And we don't declare the war until we have our mission done. And we just go here. Combine this thing and say select mission to protect trade in Zanzibar. That could be a lot of money as well, but not a lot, but bits and pieces, yeah. Uh, 0.11 ducats a month times 12. It's one ducat, tw yeah, you get that, yeah. It sums up. And we take actually these guys, these are fully enforced. We go back because um, we be at war with them and I need time to actually bring them to speed. The problem is if I pull them into a war with them, I don't want them to occupy this because they will take it for themselves. I can't have that. I actually want Mombasa myself, but it's another topic entirely. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Everybody, please subscribe and comment as well, always. I'll see you then when I'm not entirely sure what to do next. Bye-bye. <laughs>